Are you serious? Are you serious? Ukraine is demanding on Russia. They're calling for Russia to release the three seized ships and the 23 sailors, six of which are injured, after Russia rammed into one of their boats and fired upon and hit two other boats and seized three ships uh, that they say uh, was... um, being uh, uh, causing a provocation against Russia. Uh, Ukraine is calling this an arrogant act and are demanding the release of this. Now, now the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, has got in the act. She's condemning Russia for its outrageous violation of sovereign Ukrainian territory after Russia seized three Ukrainian ships and their crews. Uh, at an emergency U.N. Security Council meeting, Nikki Haley described the seizure of these vessels as an arrogant act and that the international community must condemn it. Russia fired on two Ukrainian naval ships and rammed a third vessel Sunday in the Black Sea, seizing the ships, accusing them of illegally entering in territorial waters. But the truth is these were international waters. And um, this has caused a definite commotion in an already tense area of the world in Europe. Ukraine's parliament is considering President Poroshenko's call to impose martial law on his country to help secure its security. Matter of fact, the president reduced an earlier version uh, of the bill, which he was calling for 60-day martial law. Now he wants a 30-day in an apparent concession to the opponents in his own parliament uh, in, in lieu of the fact that an election is coming up in December. But Poroshenko said today he wants to declare martial law to strengthen Ukraine's defense capabilities, increasing the aggression, and according to the international law, a cold act of aggression by the Russian Federation. Vladimir Putin, boot scooting Putin's at it again. And, uh, you know, he's already, he already got the, uh, he's already, <laughs> look, guys, he annexed Crimea from Ukraine. Let's be honest, okay? I understand, though. Uh, his reasoning was that 90% of the, Uk- the Crimeans spoke Russian and the Ukrainian government was in, in a collapse mode. So his rationale is he came to rescue his own people. But then he, he denies that he's involved in the little green men that have been involved in the uprising of the Russian rebellion in eastern Ukraine, which we all know that he's behind that. And so, you know, uh, let's be honest here. Now, the Ukrainians say that uh, they don't understand why in the world Russia is continuing to do these things. Uh, and the head of NATO is calling on Russia today also to release this Ukrainian Navy ship saying there's no justification for this. So you got NATO sticking up for Ukraine. You have the European Union sticking up for U- Ukraine. You have the United States sticking up for Ukraine. You have, uh, uh, you know, the United Nations condemning Russia on this move. So we're going to keep a close eye on all of this, see what what shakes out, but it's definitely strange times in these last days. Are you serious? The apocalypse is coming. Give your life to Jesus Christ. The apocalypse is coming.